welcome back. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit the U.S. in March of 2020, most church services came to a halt. Folks turned to online services or used the parking lot to still be included in worship. Now, a year later in the pandemic, holding in-person Easter services are a growing concern. Let the church say amen. That's the message Pastor Stanley McCrary of Friendship Missionary Baptist Church preaches to his congregation. However, most of his audience is outside. Welcome aboard Friendship Missionary Baptist Church. We still continue our parking lot services for members who can leave their home, but they may have a little flight temp, or they may not be 100% coming inside the sanctuary. It has caused churches to move out of their comfort zones to really go out and to the community. Pews were once filled, but due to coronavirus, several church members park outside and listen to the service through this speaker, like Bertha Baker. People are scared to go back in and, min and mingle and stuff. That speaking is good though because they should have it when even everybody go back in the church. With Easter two weeks away, board members created a safety protocol so the congregation can return indoors for Sunday worship. And we got the measuring tape and we measured and we were happy to discover that if every other pew is used, that is six feet vertical. And because of the length of our pews, we can put three individual single people on a pew. Of course, families be able to sit together because they are already together in a common unit. I think people are feeling more comfortable again now since um, the vaccine has it's re been released to people. I think we'll have more people inside the church this year. But McCreary says it's not about the amount of folks in the sanctuary. It's all about delivering a good message. So we can fill up the sanctuary here, social distance observed, and transition members to the fellowship hall where they will still be able to see and be a part of the service. And most church services will continue to hold weekly online services.